Okay, looks like everyone can hear me, so um, I'm just going to start. Okay, um, hello everybody, thank you for joining the webinar. My name is John, and I'm one of the application engineer at TMS Cast Center. Okay, today I'm going to show you how we can uh, transform a 2D DWG file into 3D CAD models. This is particularly useful for anybody who may wish to reuse their legacy files, and it could save them time from having to recreate the sketches. Okay, so let's start. Okay, here we have a um, DWG file opened in draft site, and it's a drawing of a Muller strainer. Okay, we're going to minimize this, and we're going to open up in SolidWorks. Okay, make sure that you either have all file types uh, selected or a DWG so you can actually see the file. Select the DWG file and hit, um, select open. Okay, and then what you see is a DFX DWG import dialog box. Okay, in this you allow, you've got two options. You can either create a new SOLIDWORKS drawing or import to a new part. Okay, and for this example, we're going to import to a new part as 2D sketch. Okay, select next. Okay, inside the document settings, uh, we have the ability to select which units the imported data to be. Okay, and for this example, we're just going to leave as inches. Okay, uh, inside the DWG file, there are uh, title blocks and dimensions that we don't really need. So we can actually deselect the layers that uh, we don't need. And for this example, we're just going to leave the outline. Okay. One other thing as well, make sure that the merge points uh, is selected so that all the sketch points are joined. A warning uh, message may appear, okay, um, this is just to enable the explode blocks options, okay, so click yes and continue. Okay, as you can see, we can see the three sketches in, in the SOLIDWORKS, okay, we also get a 2D to 3D toolbar, okay, this toolbar allows us to align our sketches and to edit sketches. Okay, the first thing we might want to do is to align it to the origin, so select the center point, and select align. Okay, zoom in. Okay, once we've done that, uh, we might want to define our front sketch. Okay, so just uh, drag a window and select the front sketch. And as you can see, the other options becomes available. So next thing we want to do is select the right sketch. Okay, we we'll automatically rotate itself in that view. Do the same for the other side. Okay, next what we're going to do is align it with the front sketch. So select the center point and hit align. Do the same for the other side. Okay. If the toolbar um, is in the way, we can move it and possibly place it on the top. Okay. If we come up from the sketch, we can now see that um, there are three sketches on our feature design manager tree. Okay. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to um, uh, replace the sketch plane for the right sketch. Okay, and then replace it with the right plane. Okay, that will place it right in the middle of the origin. Okay, and for this uh, sketch, we're going to use the revolve tool to create the 3D model. Okay, so we're going to edit that sketch and add a center line.
Okay, as you can see, we added the center line. Okay, so next thing we're going to go to is the features and select the revolved boss. Okay, and for that, we're going to use selected contours. This allows us to select areas in which we want to revolve. Okay, so we're going to select the main body and the lid. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we do the same thing for the flange. Okay, so we're going to go into the sketch. And edit the sketch. And first thing we need is the center line. Okay. And we're also going to put an additional line to the end of that uh, flange because we want to, to use the contour area. And we just want to revolve the, the end bit. Okay, so select contours, select that area. Okay. Next thing we want to do is to uh, join the flange to the main body. So we're going to select uh, the face and create a sketch. Okay, and we're going to use the uh, convert entity. And as you can see, it will create a sketch on the outside edge. And we're going to do the same for the inside edge. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to do is extruded boss. Okay, and for this, we're going to use an end condition up to next. Okay. Okay, so next thing we want to do is to create the holes on the flange. Okay, we take a look back at the DWG file, and as you can see, it uses three quarter inch bolts. Okay. For this, we're going to use the hole wizard. We're going to select the bolts, uh, the, the hole type, uh, the standard, the type, uh, the size, and the end condition is going to be up to next. Next is the position. Okay, we're going to lock it to that sketch. Okay, there are eight holes in that flange, so we're going to use a circular pattern for this. Okay, we're asked this for the pattern axis, so we're going to select the inside face. Okay, make sure that is equal spacing. Okay, there's no longer we, we no longer need that sketch, so we can hide it. Okay. As you can see, it created the flange. And we want to create this flange on the other side as well. Okay, so we're going to use the mirror tool. Okay, so we're going to mirror from the right plane. And we're going to select bodies to mirror. Okay, make sure that the merge solid is selected. So that becomes one solid. Okay. And as you can see, there are material inside that we need to remove. So we're going to do the same again and select the face and create a sketch. And we're going to use the inside edge and use Comfort Entity. Okay, we're going to go to Features and select Extruded Cut. And for this, we're going to use through all as end condition. Okay, there we have it. Uh, just to finish it off, we can apply a material and to create a nice finish effect. Okay, if you want to see the inside, we can actually use this uh, section cut. Okay, as you can see, it's very easy to create the 3D model from a 2D WG file. Okay, and that brings us to the end of this webinar, and I hope you have enjoyed it and find it useful. Uh, if there are any questions relating to this webinar, please drop me an email.
thank you again for supporting our webinar series, and I hope you all have a nice weekend. Thank you.